the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul lifting messages, faith based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. <laughs>
that all of the dimensions of wisdom be captured in their Christian experience and then number three that they be filled with spiritual understanding Ephesians 4 and verse 18 says having their understanding darkened then he says being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them that the ignorance of a man can rob you of the experience of the kingdom I told us yesterday if you remember that the kingdom is not only to be believed you can taste and see that the Lord is good it is not only to believe he is good there is an experience to the dealings of God hallelujah thank you Jesus please be seated we have a long journey tonight I promise to be a good pilot in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's start with a very serious scripture this night. If Ecclesiastes chapter 9 was still dealing with matters that make for influence and relevance in the kingdom. Ecclesiastes chapter 9. I pray in the name of Jesus that God will open our eyes. Ecclesiastes chapter 9. We'll start from verse 13. It's a very interesting story. Please look up. This wisdom have I seen under the sun and it seemed great to me. There was a little city and few men within it and there came a great king against it and he beside it and built great bulwarks against it. Scene 2. Now, there was found a poor wise man look at this kind of description a poor wise man and he by his wisdom delivered the city yet no man remembered the same poor man and here is the moral of the story 16 then i said wisdom is better than strength truly because he's just delivered a city nevertheless a poor man's wisdom is despised and his words are not heard that a man by his wisdom delivered a city yet because he lacked the tools that make for influence his voice was shut down listen to me if you pay attention tonight in the name of jesus to the things that i'll be sharing with you believe me the lord will by these tools step us to higher realms and higher dimensions of influence and kingdom relevance there is there is a synergy to our growth in the kingdom please look up our growth in this kingdom is not haphazard and it is not all up to god are we together now you can decide that I want to rise from one dimension to another and the Bible says that grace and peace is multiplied to the saints through knowledge that means when knowledge comes and not just random knowledge you see uh, let me observe something quickly apostle do you know that the challenge with many believers in Africa and across the world is not ignorance I do not believe the church is in ignorance there never has been a time in the church age where there is such a manifestation of spiritual truth from church to church you go online and there are all kinds of messages attempting to communicate different dimensions of kingdom reality so I do not believe that the church is necessarily in ignorance but I believe that the truths have not been sequentially arranged to provide the victory you see that so we do not know what truth is responsible for what outcome so we randomly apply truths in hope that one of them will work and the danger is that it will work but there is no mastery you see that because the principles were randomly applied so when you are challenged you engage the blood of jesus the name of jesus holy ghost fire somewhere in the equation something will work now the danger is you cannot mentor a people with that kind of randomness there needs to be exactitude to our spiritual understanding let me show you a scripture luke chapter one 
Luke chapter 1 for as much as many have set in hand please look up to set forth in order a declaration of those things which are most surely believed among us they are not things that are casually believed they are most surely believed conviction next verse even as they delivered them unto us which from the beginning were eyewitnesses and ministers of the word verse 3 now look at this it seemed good to me dr luke is writing now haven't had what please talk to me haven't had perfect understanding of all things from the very first to write thee in order most excellent theophilus why verse 4 that thou mightest know the certainty of those things wherein thou hast been instructed i'm working on your conviction he says i do not want you to believe just because you think i believe it i want to bring you to a point where you know that you can have perfect understanding let me say this our knowledge of god and our encounter with him we will continue to grow in the knowledge of god even in heaven are we together but as far as your victory in the cosmos is concerned the truths that are responsible for your influence and your lifting are finite you can hold them please understand this the idea that the truths that make for the victory of the saints are so vast is in itself an error the truths that makes for our victory and enthrone the Christ within our domain are finite like a student goes to school goes to college you can graduate and keep learning but the body of knowledge that makes for the degree you can have it and exhaust it and be awarded that degree are we together now something plus something plus something plus something equals your victory in this life you, it's not a, it's not an equation that is endless the name given to the body of light that makes the saints outstanding is called marvelous light it is on the strength of this body of knowledge that we are called a chosen generation he calls us a royal priesthood a peculiar people what is our advantage access to marvelous light not just light he made two great lights the bible says one to rule in the day the other to rule in the night if you possess only the light that rules in the day you will be in trouble in the night you must sustain the light that can make you in dominion both in the day and the night hallelujah praise the lord so conferences like this unveil exact kingdom principles listen to me the things I share with you are not my opinion. They are not, they are not the product of a research that is, is, is some hypothesis being tested. No. These truths are backed up by the integrity and the jealousy of God. Please understand this. The power of God has been invested upon these truths and these principles. If applied and applied diligently, will turn anyone into a wonder the truths are like a protocol if you walk them they will escort you to realms that veto your background to realms that veto your limitations so please i want you to believe and be prepared to don't just sit wondering okay let's hear i hope that i will get one or two things no these are principles um, that are very powerful the Bible says that when we pray we should pray that heaven is reproduced in our environment it says that the kingdom should come by thy will the word will there is is the same root word with the word logos the thoughts of a man that seeks expression that's where we get the word of God the logos the intention of the father that seeks to be expressed through the saints. Are we blessed? So I want to share with us a few things. Let's talk about the marketplace. There is such a concept like the marketplace. Now, you... you, you 
don't think I'm talking about business at all the marketplace is a name that attempts to capture the system of exchange on earth the marketplace has nothing necessarily to do with business it is a strategy that allows men to exchange possibilities for other possibilities are we together now that it is the place of exchange when you sow and you reap you exchange your seed for a harvest are we together now so listen it, the, the, the spiritual the, the economic barter system was a, a download of a strategy that is ancient and works in the realm of the spirit exchange Jesus himself used that law on the cross the Bible lets us know that it was through this mystery of exchange that he became sin it is even through the mystery of the exchange that we become the righteousness of God in Christ please understand we're dealing with something serious here the ability to exchange what you have for what you do not have so I can bring my weakness and exchange it for strength I can bring my ignorance and exchange it for knowledge are we together this is very very important Jesus born the sinless lamb of God when he walked upon the earth for 33 and a half years he was flawless in every way and then the Bible tells us that one time he needed to become sin and he needed to apply this law of exchange and the system for that exchange started theologically speaking in what we call the communion right he's sitting with the disciples and he picks bread that he said he was the living bread so he was carrying himself and he broke himself into several dimensions and shared it across the body of Christ the number 12 is a number for government he was not just giving 12 disciples it was a mystery are we together now because the government represent people is that not true so he was that was the human race prophetically captured in 12 people Jesus was breaking himself giving them different dimensions of him and by that exchange now on legal basis he could become sin because he said if you eat my flesh and you drink my blood you can partake of my life and that means I can also partake of yours it's an exchange in theology we call it the doctrine of interpenetration is the system that makes two entities become one is the same thing that happens in marriage when the Bible says two become one it doesn't mean they enter into themselves no it means that spiritually there is authorization to share are we together is the same principle that is used in impartation when you are a partaker of a man's grace that door that gate is open so that there is a sharing together hmm. hallelujah and that this cosmos operates by that law nothing really goes for nothing now listen very carefully that your relevance will be based on your understanding this principle of exchange it's just that business people have been the most outspoken people to operate that law but it was not meant for business it's a system is one of the wisdom keys for operating in the cosmos i can exchange something i have for something i do not have amazing revelation that means I do not need to cry for what I don't have. There is a principle already built in this system. Are we together now? The yesterday's version of me can have something and I can exchange it for what tomorrow's version requires. So whatever is not in my life now, I don't need to be afraid because there is provision for growth. Are we blessed? I needed to establish this so that we can discuss what I really want to talk about this night. I'm just praying that God will help me 
so that I can work this thing well. So the marketplace is a place of exchange and is a place of rewards. Please take note of these words. We're going to deal with them. Exchange and rewards. Exchange and rewards. The marketplace. Are we together? Hello, Sabrando Sikiti Abakashudia. We trust your wisdom and we thank you for helping us. Are you ready tonight? Luke chapter 16. We'll read verse 11 and then later on we'll start from the beginning. Luke chapter 16 and verse 11. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Let's read if you're a Christian. Ready? One, two, read. You have not been faithful in the unrighteous mammon. Uh-huh. Who will commit to your trust the... Now, Jesus is using an interesting concept. He calls it true riches. That unfaithful mammon is talking about money. Why is it unfaithful? Because it can be disloyal to people anytime. It's here today and not there tomorrow. You have more of it today and tomorrow it tries to go down. So he says that attitude is the attitude of unfaithfulness. He calls it unfaithful mammon. That if you are not faithful in the unrighteous mammon, who will commit to you? What? True riches. Now watch this. The name... This thing called true riches is what we want to deal with tonight. I want to show you a powerful secret. Three people, please, come. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Please don't, don't, don't just run. Please, let's, maybe protocol, help me coordinate them. If not, we'll have some chaos here. Just three gentlemen. gentlemen. Okay, well, you come. Please stand here. Everybody watch this. Thank you. Um... Please give me this bottle of water. Anyone? Thank you. Now watch this. Everybody call this a product. This is a product. Is that true? Hold this. Please lift it up. This is a hundred dollar bill. Please lift it up. Now watch this. In business, every business person and all over South Africa, look up please. You know and you have been taught. If you want this product, this is the name given to the capital that buys it. Is that true? That means if I give you a hundred dollar bill or if you have a hundred dollar bill, you are happy because it sustains the ability to purchase this product. In this case, a bottle of water. Are we together? Now, I want to introduce you to the capital that buys money. When you want this, what do you bring? I know that I want this so this is what I use to buy this but if this is what I want what do I use to buy it? because this is also a product and there is a capital that buys that product the name of that capital is true riches the capital that buys money I want to build a house. <laughs> Are we together? I want to buy clothes. I want to live a comfortable life. I want to sow into church. But I have the product. But I do not have the capital. So I will need this. The moment you give me this, I begin to rejoice. Because it's the guarantee that I can have this. I don't fear this when I have this. What must I have to not fear this? I mean, you went to school. This is, this is, this is. Are we together? Listen, my brothers and sisters, tonight's teaching will save you decades of frustration and shadow boxing. I told you there is, there is exactitude to spiritual operations. Hmm. The capital that buys money. Now, let me tell you this. Do you know I hope you are not offended that I'm bringing out money. Please. It's not. I'm just. 
for some reason this teaching requires it and and it looks like when we bring it out there will be understanding are we together there are people who will not get this thing at all until we just bring a token that that wakes them up praise god now watch this please listen to me for as long as i have this i will never fear this But when I do not have what buys this, I will always live in fear. I will always live in frustration. Nobody has money and walks to a shop being afraid. Please give me this, give me that, give me this. Okay, uh, do I want this? And people watch you. Your confidence shows that there's something in your pocket. So what must be in your life for you to look at this and say, give me this, add another one, more of this. How much is the house a million runs okay um give me this give me that this is true riches are we together and i'm going to show you that there are many other currencies we use for exchange money is only one of them if all you buy in your life is paid for with money you are not very rich and my prayer tonight is may you not be so poor that all you have is money what we are discussing is serious business tonight true riches are we blessed now so we will discuss very briefly i won't waste your time and then we'll pray Dear people of God, the church is a blessing. We are not a cause to society. We are not a nuisance to civilization. It's true. So he says, there is something called true riches. Jesus had it. He walked upon the earth and he had it. That there is something that the moment you carry, you begin to exhibit magnetic properties you are a human being but something that is in you and on you begins to exhibit properties that is akin to a magnet and suddenly you find out that you can lay up gold as dust your life becomes an epistle of wonder and people look at you and say no no i know you i mean you grew up there in that street and you say it's true but in my growth process, I came across a body of truth. And I submitted myself to that truth. And this is what it has made me become. You fear success when you don't know how it came. Fear is proof that there is no mastery. Are we together? Are we blessed? Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. This is for you all three. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, watch this. In this kingdom, please listen carefully. Listen carefully. Success was never designed to be pursued. Already, if you seek success, you have failed. Please listen. Don't be offended if I'm a bit harsh. It's, it's the depth of my love and my insistence that you get this thing this night. Are we together now? That the moment you find yourself pursuing success, you have already failed. The first spiritual principle that I want to teach you tonight that the Bible calls true riches, the capital that buys not only money, buys influence. Are we together now? It's called the law of the mind. Please write it down. That in this kingdom, you don't make money off a business. A business is a reflection of your understanding. A business is a report card telling us how your mind is. Are we together now? This is very powerful. The Bible says, Genesis 11, please give it to us. The law of the mind. And let me, let me give you a little brief. Please look up. You are going to learn it now. It's very powerful. That realities, watch this. 
realities are first formed in your mind before they are formed in your physical environment please listen to me that the physical environment of a man is akin to a mirror if i'm looking at myself in a mirror and i find a thread on my head do i put my hand into the mirror to remove the thread what do i do i remove it and the guy in the mirror will obey that guy in the mirror is your physical environment and that the reality listen please listen to me attempting to become anything that is not yet captured in your mind is like pulling a rubber ring it will go back it will use a sequence of events that look like coincidences but it is a law are we together now every dimension in life has treasures i'm glad this is called the house of treasures every dimension in life has possibilities and realities attached to it are we together now and that if you have not qualified in your mind and you force your physical environment to reflect that result it will betray you and return you back to where you really belong this is not demon oppression it's a law so everything in this life is built twice first here then here that anything that has already been built here there is no power in existence that sustains the ability to sabotage it come with me the whole earth was of one language and one speech let's hurry verse 2 it came to pass as they journeyed in the east they found a plain in the land of china and dwelt there this is the story of nimrod kush and the building of the tower of babel now tonight we are not arguing about the theological whether it was a physical building or spiritual building you just leave that one we are just discussing the concept now nimrod kush says goto let us make brick now he's doing something to their minds they've not started building he's proposing it's like a manifesto are we together now he's saying let us make bricks he's creating imagery in their minds that's where you get the word imagination the bible says and burned them thoroughly and they had brick for stone and slime they had for mortar next verse quickly and they said let us build what a city and a tower whose top may reach unto the heavens and let us make a name lest we be scattered abroad please keep verse 4 watch this in this chapter the holy ghost is not there in this chapter demons are not there in this chapter satan is not there in this chapter redemption had not happened are we together next verse read verse 5 if you are a christian one two go keep verse 5 there while they were talking in the realm of the spirit a building was rising and god said who is already building the bible says the lord this is what he was seeing he came down to see a building that was finished they had not started but in the realm of the spirit what their minds were building was finished please understand what i'm telling you now hold on if the bible said an angel we can say the angel has fallen from grace but this is the lord yahweh the bible uses his name the lord came down to say who is building whereas on earth the man is just talking to their minds they've not laid one block but in the realm of the spirit is finished could that be why your business has not risen because you are building something that does not have could it be that's why the ministry is not rising because you are attempting to build something physical and in the realm of the spirit there is no substance please sit down sit down we are warming this plane it has to fly high this night now watch this and then the lord said now she's coming to their realm behold the people is one and they all have la one language and this they begin to do from their realm 
from the realm of the spirit the house the men built it finished they are about to start what is finished in this kingdom we only execute what is finished if it is not finished you will fail please listen to me hear me so you are in your one room no one knowing you and the holy ghost comes to you and says my son you may be in this room but i can take you around the globe and you are saying how i don't have a visa he says leave that i can take your mind let your mind go there it will call your body to follow it that everywhere your mind goes it sustains the intelligence to call your body it will fit to your background it will fit to policies it is a law it's not a suggestion please sit down Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 shilasadu sarasia haskabarunda siata now look up the bible says now not later now unto him that is able so god's ability is not in question you are able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or stop ask or help me south africa ask or if i say sit here or sit here it means either ways carry equal value sit down that means there are two prayer warriors that talk to god your mouth and your mind and that god is able to answer both requests listen sit down listen please listen listen it means your prayer can say lord lift me and your mind says lord forget about it the bible says god is able to answer what kind of prayer requests have your mind raised to heaven could it be that every time you say lord give me speed your mind says no lord respect my will keep me where i am the bible says both of them your asking and your thinking are prayer warriors. Hear me, South Africa. This is the mystery behind the sudden rise of people. There is nobody who comes out of nowhere. Just forget about that nonsense. While David is in the cave of Adulam, his mind this is the excellency of the word of god its ability to paint pictures as you study the word of god you see it have been exalted above all the nations of the earth it's not just some preacher's opinion and while you are there you are in the room and you don't even know where the next meal will come from the temptation is to try to fake your reality by looking for material things that show you have gone out of that realm here is an honest advice from someone who loves you passionately it's a total waste of time why fake what can be real are we together it's like going to steal something and finding out it's yours <laughs> look how foolish you are going to feel listen 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 CEOs, men of God, women of God, all started, most of them, from a standpoint of disadvantage. However, when the Holy Ghost came to them, he told them, trust me, I'm about to take you on a journey. Where is the visa? Where is the influence? And he says, follow me and I will make you. Follow me. Is God speaking to us tonight? And you follow foolishly while 
you are walking with him the word of god is transiting your understanding there is no food yet i know things are not working yes i know we look at you and we cannot differentiate between the transited version of you and the prior version it does not yet appear what we shall be like however that transition is happening now let me show you never forget what the illustration i want to show you for the rest of your life please let's hurry up our time is gone eight people come gentlemen four of you stand here four of you stand it's okay um, eight only just four of you stand here just stand looking at me four of you <laughs> south africa i love you trust me hold on all right you stand here watch this blessed be the name of the lord please stand sir what do i do with this man now <laughs> hallelujah you stand up here sir or, or you just come here don't mind all the drama i'm acting now it is so that you will never forget you stand here just just look at me you stand here you stand here right so you with him you with him you with him now watch this so i uh, let me find something for you watch this can you space yourselves a little now please it looks like we're acting but this is your destiny pay attention the way god designed life is that for every realm you get into there are possibilities in that realm there is a realm that is impossible to get to and not be a millionaire it's impossible the law of god's justice does not allow you to be in that realm broke watch this how many if you see your man of god now are we together now you see your man of god trying to lose the tire of his car the realm he's in does not allow him to do that when you are there it's not pride you are compelled by reason of his growth to collect it and do it for him there is a realm where you will never fly economy again now it's not just some economy business well no matter how humble you are it is the implication listen so watch this all of this call them realms level one level two level three now watch this maybe for instance the breakthrough you want hold it and lift it up is in level three and this is where you are now this is how we fake our lives you quickly try to manipulate your way and get this the law will take you back to where you are because you did not get it by growth I show you the mystery behind the balloon success of people up today down tomorrow it's not just an attack we violate principles watch this this young man is about to be a sign and a wonder and you start right here from your one room this is the nation these are levels now guys this is what i want you to do for every step i take you to move are you together now watch this let me show you how success comes success is a product of who you are becoming not just what you are doing it is first being before doing business people hear me it is more than doing it is being before doing so you are here the holy ghost comes to you you are praying Sharparuskata, in the name of jesus the power of the holy ghost is at work in me while you are watching those videos in the night using your phone you don't even have enough recharge this is what you are doing you are growing listen imagine the burden of looking for all these things one by one the system of god saved you that stress media popularity no leave all those things watch this somewhere in this equation is your business class your private jet somewhere here is your house your mall don't be concerned about those there is a system design that as you grow creation responds please find a way of believing what i teach you tonight 
Take it higher for me. So I'm here. Lord, you have called me to be a great businessman in South Africa. You've called me to be a prophet and an apostle. I don't even have an idea on how growth should happen. I don't have any helper. But one thing I know is that my mind is not just some scientific, metaphysical thing. No. So the word of God is coming. Shabaru skeda brakata barada. Shake it. No, you are moving too far. Slowly, right? I mean, just don't take wide steps because he has a long journey. Watch this. Excel 2016, 2017. Now, watch this. By 2018, some results start coming because you have now come to a level. Watch this. It may not be much. Someone can give you 10 runs. 100 runs. It is only a report card that you are making progress. It may not do you much. Hear me. You're a businessman. At this level, someone notices what you are doing. Kings do not come to your light. So don't expect them to come at this level. They will not patronize your restaurant at this level. But it does not mean they are not in the equation of your success. You just started the business. So it is not lack of faith when it's shaking here and there. It is a law. Your determination as your mind keeps growing. You can take a bus from one region to the other. Whereas the airports are there. Do it with honor. Because you will miss those days very soon. Are we blessed then you get to a level where it becomes very frequent 10 10 runs 100 100 runs not more but they are frequent now you have stabilized in this realm but it's time to grow at this level as a preacher someone says come and lead a little prayer group don't feel insulted and say my vision I saw cathedrals and stadiums. God did not lie. But you are still on your way coming. So Joseph is in the house of Potiphar. He is not there yet. But he's also not there. I'm showing you where you are now. Listen to me. Because Satan is the master of the flesh realm. He will come and say in four years oh dear businessman you started your telecoms company everything crashed i mean your 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 reach is so small and sometimes you are tempted you are you are a whatever it is maybe maybe you 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 dress like like that my my dear um a wonderful friend there you dress people and you do this and your god has shown you kings but at this level you are rising moreover it is required in stewards that a man be found now let me tell you where we miss it you look at yourself and then you watch someone on tv who you think you are better than and you say no 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 i shouldn't be at this level i will promote myself now let me tell you the disaster because of the power of your will you will come here but you will find out that you have not been taught the ability to walk in the palace Growth did not mentor you to know how to stand before kings. So you come to Pharaoh without shaving your beard. Because if you grew somewhere in your growth process, you will be taught the ethics of increase. Hear me? Don't, don't pity people too much that you push them unnecessarily. Let them grow. Thank you. Are we together now? Thank you let them grow sometimes we love people too much in we think we are accelerating seasons whereas we are opening them watch this i always give this analogy you see how clean this handkerchief is now respectfully speaking you can see someone maybe whom all these people that just do things at the road and tell him i give you a gift in two weeks this handkerchief will change color the handkerchief is responding to his mind you held this handkerchief for one year it still remain white because the excellence in your mind is what is captured here now have you given your dress to someone 
a dress that you wore for one year and now he's wearing it for two months and you can't identify it again it's not the dress it's the mind listen there are people who buy cars that their minds and their levels should not have and they never get blessed you sit in that car and you know it's illegal you feel it everything around because the supporting systems you cannot have a car that size and yet not have the relationships to defend that results if you grew together with your results there would be strategic connections that will justify your remaining in that realm hear me God is speaking to someone it is true you are a champion but you may need to return to grow well some of you need to start this journey with honor it is true you are a prophet to the nations but running around and asking people to invite you is proof you are not there watch this neither do men light a lamp the system of God already sorted your being seen just grow listen I don't care what your background is if you grow the light that comes from your growth will draw any nation and anybody to you it is true listen you will thank me for what you are hearing tonight because the next time God grants us the grace to see when you see the tomorrow version of you you will look at yesterday and say no this is not true you mean that was me listen time does not change anything tomorrow things will change is nonsense time only reveals you grow when your mind grows I'm reading the books I'm learning Holy Spirit I believe you conferences start coming gradually one day as you grow listen at this level you should not be without a car and the moment you step into this level the justice system of God will talk to someone across the earth someone will have to give you a car because at this level of growth listen the church is 50 members you don't need five bosses no there is a level that if you grow that size of the church that influence in ministry makes it impossible to not have certain things it's not pride so rejoice not over me my enemies just give me time I know that when I was invited to a church, you would be saying in Johannesburg, I'm a prophet, but every name I called was not it. You are John. He said, no, 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 I'm not John. I'm Joseph. You have three people. He said, no, we are five in our family. And at the end of it, you feel stupid. You live as if you just finished from a funeral. Let me tell you, you will need that experience to mentor the people who you will have. Yeah. Hear me? Run away from people who don't have scars. They are dangerous. Let no man trouble me. I went to the school of the spirit. Let no man trouble me. Listen, this is you. You didn't know that at this level, there is harsh criticism that comes. So while you want to rush and say, Lord, bring me here, God is saying, you are not ready. Mr. Man, build capacity. So that the day someone comes to antagonize your business, you have built stamina and you know. <laughs> This is the realm where veterans are. Come. Come, guys. 
steal anything from them they have drawn it too close it won't go far this is a realm where they can leave their house with no money and before they get to the mall something has happened their growth does not allow them to be embarrassed please go back let's act it one more time my god please go back again business people hear me men of god hear me let me tell you this once upon a time in my life it was difficult for me to have the convenience to even buy and eat as I would want to eat. I come from a wonderful family. I'm sure they are watching now from Nigeria. Lovely people. I love them with all my heart. But that was the reality. And I knew trying to fake prosperity would be a waste. Because the same energy it takes to fake is what it takes to be real. So I'm not going to be involved in that stupid venture of faking my life. And after five years I discover that I'm not there. Now watch this. Right when I was here, I knew that a day will come. The blessed will call me blessed. This was where the visions came. I saw the nations from where I was. I knew that a day would come. The two leaf gates of nations will be opened. I didn't know how, but I knew that this was two riches the capital that buys influence the capital that buys relevance the capital that conquers the cosmos today I look at my life and all I can say is be glorified Galatians 1.24 has become a reality in my life and they glorified God in me I wish I had time for us to walk this this is just one of it I'm giving you alone do business without this you will only have a plethora of failed businesses while I was here the Holy Ghost came and said give me your mind follow me and I stupidly followed one step after the other he promised that the nations would open. He promised that the blessed would call me blessed. He promised. I believed him. Watch this. Please go back. You have one shirt and one trouser. Go to the boutique here. Go to the car stand here. Visit the airport here. Shake kings here. Build the church here. When you build the church, the Holy Ghost will start bringing them to you. Listen, when he was teaching me, I did not know you. Yet, today, he's brought us together. The same way, the clients that will lift you, you do not yet know where they are. Look for them here. They never get missing here. South Africa is too large to find them one by one. Save yourself that stress. I'm not saying marketing is wrong. With respect to the mind. And one day, you will sit back and watch kings come. They will queue up in front of your mall. And you will say, I have only heard that God lifts. But now my life is a testimony. When Apostle was starting this ministry, you were still in South Africa, but you were not yet here. He called you from the Spirit here. And today, you are here. Even if you, as big and large as you are, you were still drawn by the power of the mind, what will stop money from coming to you? Now unto him who is able 
to do exceeding abundant above all we ask or think I found the key here and so I went to the crusade here I healed the sick here I lifted the wheelchairs here I raised the dead here I experienced the ministry of the Holy Ghost here and inevitably I'm comforting someone so that after service you will run back home and say I found the key They call you and say look let's try to i'm coming growth has already sorted me Let, let's try to lobby for a media interview is unnecessary there is a place in your growth where they will come running with cameras and say give us an opportunity to at least talk to you lay your hands on your mind and begin to prophesy in one minute decree and declare spirit of the living God breathe upon my mind let your word create the pictures of a future that is enviable take my eyes away from my background grant me access to light dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Alaska de Bashka Nakata Branda Katekatos Kate Branda Katapa Kotosko to break a take a legata. The phase of development, Lord, grant me the discipline.